These here are sushi gloves. Now, what makes them sushi gloves, you might think? Well, they have a perforated surface that makes sure that sushi rice doesn't stick to them as well. So this really helps you when making sushi because sometimes rice sticks to your hands, but this will stop that. So I'm sure you've all experienced it when making sushi. You try to pick up the rice just like this, and then it all sticks to your hands and you can't get it off and just ruins it all. Now, although you could use a little bit of water to mitigate that, these gloves make it way, way, way easier. You just pick up some sushi rice and when you boil it together, it prefers to stick to itself rather than to your hands. Now, although one or two pieces are still sticking to the gloves, they're sticking very, very lightly. And as you can see, it's quite easy to make a bowl of rice. Now, these could really help you with your sushi making. Okay, so this here is called the rice cube. It's a specialized gadget that makes cubes out of rice. And let's test it out, I guess. Okay, so you just put it like this, and you take a little bit of sushi rice. This is sushi rice with sesame seeds. Close it, and then compress. And then you open it up again, and use the lid to just remove the piece like that. Okay, now I'm gonna put this to one side, and I'm gonna use it again, but this time with some red sushi rice. Now, this has been colored with some food coloring. Just close it, compress, and then do the same motion again, just separate it and use the lid to just push it out. Okay, great. I'm just gonna put it right next to the other one I just made a second ago. All right, and one more little slab of sushi rice, I guess. I'm gonna take some with black sesame seeds this time. Just pop it in and close it and compress. All right, great. Now I've got three equal sushi rice bits with different colors. Okay, now I'm gonna put these together and then put them back into the machine and then compress them back together. But there's no reason why one of these slabs of sushi rice couldn't be say a piece of fish or some fish roe or vegetables or just go crazy with different things. Now I'm just gonna compress it so they're joined together and there you go. I've got one piece of sushi rice with three different layers of sushi rice. This is very interesting because I could put like a piece of fish on top or some fish roe or wrap it in nori or just one of these sections could be fish or just many, many, many ways this could be different. And it just opens the door to so much creative potential. That's why I kind of like this gadget. These here are your standard disposable chopsticks you get in every sushi restaurant. They're cheap, easy to use, and you can throw them away after you use them. Now, these are a little bit more classy, made of nice wood, and these are even more classy, made of nicer wood. But if you wanna be a real rock star, you're gonna need these. They're made of stainless steel, metal chopsticks, and if you take these to your local sushi restaurant, they're gonna consider you a sushi pro. I'll leave a link in the description below to where you can get some of these. I've bought nearly every sushi rolling mat on the market and they're all okay to bad. Now, this is the one you want. It's made out of special plastic that has a non-bacteria, so it doesn't allow bacteria to spread. And it's super flexible, just like the bamboo rolling mats because of the way it's joined together. And it has these little dots on the surface which make it non-stick, so rice doesn't stick to as much, which means you don't need to wrap it in plastic or put it in a plastic bag. This is by far the superior best one there is on the market and you need this one if you're serious about making your sushi. If you've ever made sushi rice, you've needed a rice paddle like this maybe. This is a wooden rice paddle. Now, here is a plastic one. It's a little bit more smooth like this and it's quite good. But you really want a plastic one with little dots on it. Now these come with your standard rice cooker and these little dots make it a little bit non-stick so the rice doesn't stick to the rice paddle as much. Now this here, this is a superior rice paddle. What it's got is little bumps and bumps on the bumps which make it super non-stick. So nearly no rice sticks to this rice paddle. And if you're serious about making sushi rice, this is the rice paddle you want. Alright, so this gadget here is called the Sujizi or Sushi Bazooka and it promises to make sushi very very easy to make so let's give it a try. Okay, start off by unscrewing the cap and then unclipping these locks and then take the shaft out. Now you want to fill it up with sushi rice evenly on both sides. So just spread it out nice and gently just like that and if you need to add a little bit more sushi rice just like so. Okay. 
Now, once you've got both sides filled up, then you want to start adding your filling. Up to this stage, it's been quite easy to do. Just add a little bit of salmon here and another piece of salmon. And I'm gonna add a little bit of cucumber on the other side. Now there's no reason why you can't fill it up with whatever ingredients you want or like in sushi, so go crazy, add some sauces, add whatever fish or whatever vegetables you want in your sushi and make it yours. Now to close it, you just wanna put the shaft in the screw part and then seal both sides shut like this and clip it closed. And then you wanna add the cap, just screw and lock it on, just like that. And then you wanna just screw this shaft until you get past the screw section. This compresses the sushi roll inside. Okay, that was quite easy. And now you take a piece of nori and you just want to unscrew the cap and then you just want to press your sushi roll out. Now it's quite hard to get it out, but once it gets going, it's quite easy and slides out quite fast. Now I guess you should move on to the rolling. Just roll it round. You don't even need a rolling mat for this. You just roll it freehand, just like that. Although it might be easy and better if you just compress it a bit with a rolling mat at the end. Now to cut it, just cut it like you usually would a maki sushi roll. Just cut it into little bits, just like this. And yeah, it looks like sushi, maki sushi. Now there are limitations to this. You can't make uh, any special rolls like uramaki inside out sushi rolls. But if you wanna make some easy maki sushi rolls, this seems like quite a good solution. And I guess, great for beginners.